just to show some 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 actual places where BMX is being used. So instead of yeah, so which I think it's a key value of any software. Like you can write several papers and whatever, or do a, a RFCs. But if your software is not being used by communities, like at the slides, it always said uh, below community. Uh, decentralizing root and security for community mesh networks. And this is not something that came out of Axel head just because he wants to do that, but because this is actually being used by community mesh networks. And, and so this is somewhere in Brazil. Uh, this is just a router inside a box. It was kind of made in a workshop. And this, these people down there are the ones uh, that live in that house. Uh, in the same town, uh, we installed as well uh, a GCM, this is from Nuran, a GCM base station with a, with a GCM antenna, and it was connected on the same tower, like one meter away from there, to another tp link running LibreMesh. Uh, this cable goes to the GC, GCM base station, and so it was like maybe six, six nodes there. And in another node, uh, we put the BTS, which is the mm, controller for the base station. Uh, we set up so a community GCM network, like a test, test network for, for community GCM. Uh, and th the communication between the two was using LibreMesh, which runs Batman Advance and BMX. Um, this is in Nicaragua. This was in Brazil, like in near Rio de Janeiro. And this is in Nicaragua, uh, where there was a cooperative that also had some equipment and needed some help to, to set it up. So we, we made like a one week workshop. They had uh, ubiquity equipment and uh, some tip links as well. And they could get it up and running with almost no, no, no technical knowledge. Uh, like, yes, with, with very little previous technical experience. And they put all the notes in their houses and learned how to do POE and things like that. So this was the first interaction with, from these people to mesh networks. Um, yeah. And I wanted to take the opportunity of the, showing these photos to ask if Anyone here during the battle mesh noticed yet any kind of gender imbalance in the in the attendance? Raise the hand. Okay, so everyone that raised the hand already thought yesterday or before I, I'm, I was mentioning this thought that there were, maybe there was some kind of weird thing about gender imbalance. And the people who didn't raise their hands, now that I'm saying it, what are, are you thinking about it or not yet? I saw some people that didn't raise their hands. You didn't think of uh, there was any kind of strange situation, like comparing what I'm seeing here to what I'm seeing here, for example, or in other, uh, this, this kind of, meetings that we had, technical meetings. I saw some hands that were not raised. I think it's very, very important. This is the most male event I've been in the past two years. And uh, I think it's very important for all of us to always have this in mind and uh, try to uh, diversify every event that we are at, by, even by, just by mentioning or by inviting, like making an explicit, explicit invitation to all kinds of gender so that we could, can balance this. Uh, it, it's not the only step, it takes many steps, but we have every day to take them because this is not the reality. This is more like reality, but this is definitely not the reality. <laughs> so, uh,